Hello everybody, currently Saturday and I'm on my way to go pick up my packet for the 3M half marathon that I signed up for literally three days ago. Uh, I'll go in more detail on why I'm doing this race, so until then, we're on a mission. For bib number 6927. Hi! Yes! Wow, okay, if you can tell, I just switched shirts and huge fan of these bars. If you don't know, now you know. Talked about Thunderbirds, talked about the Spy Belt that's really, really awesome for running if you don't already have one. Highly recommend them. And yeah, that's really it. That's really it. That's how easy it is. You sign up for a half marathon, you go pick up your stuff, you eat some of the samples, and you don't think about it. Update. Let me tell you why. Why I'm doing this 3M half marathon. I told myself I wanted to sign up for a race a month during the year of 2020. And I anticipated that the very 1st of January. I thought of this brilliant idea. And then come January 16th, I realized that I didn't sign up for any race and it's almost the end of the, end of the month. I had a friend that texted me that I, you know, told earlier. He was like, oh, you're doing the 3M, right? Well, it can't be a little wuss. I signed up for it. And here we are. I haven't been running. I haven't ran. The last time I ran was maybe five, six, seven, a lot of days ago, maybe four miles, but it's okay. I'm trying to stay positive. Everything is mental. I know my body can handle it. I just really gotta take care of myself, do all the necessary recovery, post run. I eat a lot today because carbo loading is real and your body needs it for some energy, so here we go. I wanna show you guys what I got in this 3M goodie bag. They have some, they have some stuff in there, okay? This is what it looks like. It looks a lot, fuller than what it was, and that's because I added some stuff to it from the vendors. These are probably my top two because no oop, added sugar to them. It's just the cocoa powder and the dates that is used in the bar makes them sweet. So they're so freaking good, but they also, if you're not a chocolate fan, have other flavors. Ashy fake carrot, they have this one, hemp sunflower pumpkin seed. And one of the vendors at the 3M was this company Spy Belt, a local Austin company that makes essentially these little belts that are awesome for running, for our triathlons, for um, instructors. I'm a huge fan of them. I run with them all the time. They're so comfy. I'll be wearing this one tomorrow. Classic. Classic Under Armour is a sponsor. Under Armour, if you guys didn't know, I'm an Under Armour athlete, so I get to travel, get to talk about them, I get to try out their clothing, um, new drops that they have, um, and all their great technology. And it's, I've been working with them for a little bit over a year and a half, and it's literally been a dream. I am obsessed with the company, I'm obsessed with the people that I work with, the girls that I'm recruited with are all amazing. It, it's just been such a great experience, and so I'm just happy to represent them. And yeah, they're one of the sponsors, so I love that. Honestly, I don't know why, but they gave you scotch tape and a glue stick. So, and a scotch bright basic sponge. Oh. Oh. I'm dumb. They gave us these because 3M makes this stuff. I literally had no idea. The more you know. Fun fact, you learn something new every day. Race number, in case you're interested. The race is tomorrow. I had the intention of signing up for it a lot earlier and training at least a little bit for it, but that just did not happen. Thing I've learned is that time flies, and if you commit to something, have really good people around you who will push you to complete it. And I'm realizing that my hair <laughs> looks so bad. This is me, y'all. If you don't know me already, this is me. I love competing, I love being around people. There's so much endorphins around it. There's so many people cheering if you're not even running. It's just a great, great experience. If you thought about you know, signing up for a race, I say 100% do it. I hope that this inspires you to sign up for something or do something out of your comfort zone. That's my two cents. I will see y'all tomorrow, race day, night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, it's the day of race day. I'm up. Ladies, you get this? Oh, I'm here. Oh.
I'm in my fear again. So the last thing I want to be doing on this race. I do it. Stay positive. 13 miles. I'll be back. Pancakes. I'm gonna have pancakes at the end. So that's why I decided. I'm just gonna get ready, drink some water, probably have some coffee, try to eat something because I'm not hungry at all. So I know I should have something. So I'll see you at the start. All right. It's race day. Best people. There we go. Waiting to start. No, it's a video. It's gonna go on the internet. All doing this. A little half marathon on a Sunday morning in January. It's a little chilly. Got our layers on. Excited. Got the course run down. About 30 seconds till we go. There's no like time like the present to run a freaking marathon. So let's just do the thing. Sunday morning. Twelve miles in. Miles ago. I feel like bad. Let me start. We're almost there. Hey, Ron. You take your face. Sydney Torres, Amy Scarborough, and Maria Rodriguez. Oh my god. Seven people over 7,000 of you coming across that finish line today. That was so hard. I'm going to catch my breath. I'm going to recover. And I'm going to check back in. And then I've got some air and water. Okay, now that I have some time, I've gotten my breath back. Texas Capitals in the background. Y'all, my legs are not okay. That was anticipated, so now I'm gonna go try to recover. Go into an ice bath, sit in some compression boots, drink lots of water, eat lots of good food. Definitely, with like five miles to go, was when I really started to hurt. Bad, like such a mental toughness, and then I really had to go to the bathroom, so. I was gonna film this video on my camera, but I suck and my camera died. And for the first five minutes that I was talking, I wasn't even recording. I'm gonna get better at this. Also, I'm gonna say that my brain's a little foggy right now, post run. So let me just go through this really quickly. One, it's been a couple hours now. I had my recovery at Athletic Outcomes. I did the cold tub and compression boots immediately, probably within 30 minutes that I finished the race. The quicker that you get into a recovery zone, the better for your body. So don't wait the next day. That's my number one tip. Don't wait to recover. Do it day of, the sooner the better. Any sort of recovery, stretch, foam roll, um, sleep, lots of water. There's so many different options that you really need to take advantage of to really fuel your body so that it doesn't hurt as much the next day. Um, so lots of recovery. Two, I wanted to talk about just things I've learned through this half marathon experience. As you know from the beginning of the video, I did not train for this at all. Smart or not smart, whatever. I had a goal at the beginning of the year to sign up for a race a month and this 3M was really on my mind. I had never done it before and I decided why the heck not. This morning, I didn't want to do it. I woke up, I was not motivated. It was cold. I'm on my period. So many things that were hurdles. I just want to be done. And it feels really good now to talk about it, to say that I've completed it. I actually went a pretty decent time. I was under two hours, so I feel like that's great. But it feels really good to complete it. And so a little lesson I learned from that is time freaking flies, y'all. We are 20 days into January. I'm recording this. And I just signed up for this maybe three days ago. So if you have a goal in mind, if you want to achieve something, 
do it now because in a week, in two weeks, like just start, start now. It can be very small, like whatever, literally whatever. Um, but start today. Don't start tomorrow. Eh, start tomorrow. I don't know, but start soon. Sooner rather than later is the best bet because otherwise this month would have passed and I would not have another race under my belt. That being said, post race, I'm feeling good. I had some tacos. I was hurting y'all. My legs hurt, my knees hurt. Again, I didn't train for it. It was not smart. It's another freaking hurdle to get over. Like the moment you're like, oh crap, I had that moment and I wanted to stop. And I just stopped so badly during that race. It had to be very, very positive. Whatever the mind believes, the body achieves. And I'm a huge proponent believer in that. I'm not a very good motiv motivational speaker, but you hear people all the time, oh, I never thought I could do that, or you, you're you only a 40% capacity. It's freaking true, y'all. Um, for me, it's anytime I get a negative thought as far as I can't do anymore, I can't do another rep, I don't want to do this, I try to turn it into a positive and be like, no, you are doing this for you. You are doing this to accomplish something. You're going to feel so much better after you complete this. I had to fight it a lot during this half marathon, really push the mental capacity to stay positive. But you know what? We're here and we did it. We is me. Mm. So I just want to close out the video. Say thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me do more races, comment below what races you want to see me do and not train for. <laughs> just kidding. Never again. Probably more again. I but comment below if you like this video and what races you're signed up for. Like this video, please, if you did like it. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and make sure to follow me on Instagram because I have all my recaps on there. They're daily that you get all of this. It's on my Instagram. So at Spin City, I'll put that right over here somewhere. I'm so tired. I'm going to take a nap.